here. Um, I wanted to show you how the Cricut Maker can work with basswood, so with thicker woods. Now, so you are going to need a sheet of your basswood. Now I highly recommend with the Cricut chipboard or the basswood that you take it out of the packaging and you leave it for 24 hours before you do anything with it. Uh, that's because it can have a little bit of moisture in it from its travels to get to you. Um, so you want it to dry out, so leave it for 24 hours completely out of the packaging to dry out um, ready to use. So I've got my sheet here, like so. I'm going to show you how we prep materials for the knife blade because it's slightly different to our normal um, materials that we pop onto the mat. So I like to use, and I highly recommend that you use a strong grip mat for this. Um, take away the protective plastic, but don't throw that away. You need it to protect your mat once you're done. Now I'm going to pop my basswood onto my mat. Make sure that's really well stuck down. Now you need to tape your material to the mat just to really make sure it stays there because the way that the knife blade works it's really pushing through that material so you don't want it to move anywhere. I personally like to use um, electrical tape for this uh, but masking tape, a nice strong masking tape works perfectly well too. You want something that's easy to remove from your material. So what you're going to do is tape around the edges. So you want a bit of tape on your material and a bit on the mat. So go around, I need some scissors. And just cut four long pieces of tape and tape down the four sides. Like so. Doesn't have to be neat, just as long as it's doing the job and you haven't got any tape overhanging the mat. And my last piece. should look something like that and you can see that I've positioned my piece right into the top corner here on the left side of your mat and that's really important because for our next step we need to repair the machine so when your machine arrives and uh, the way you use it normally as you'll see there's these four white wheels here we call these the star wheels now for cutting thicker materials they're going to get in the way and for softer materials like basswood they can actually damage the material so what we need to do is push those star wheels to the side uh, the first time you do this they can be quite stiff uh, but they are meant to move so don't worry <laughs> go for it they will go eventually and you're just gonna move all of those across there to the side so that they live over here on this side of your machine underneath the power buttons now that means that they can now um, run here in this section of my mat and they won't affect any of my material so you always need to make sure you've left that little gap for them there so now I can pop my mat into the machine load it like normal and we need to change our blade so I've got the knife blade uh, this is a very sharp blade so please be careful it does come with its own protective lid uh, but it looks like this it's got the gold cool. it's got the gold cog on the top um, and what we need to do is open the B port take out our fine point blade pop in our knife blade make sure that the cog at the back is lined up and it's pushed fully down into the holder and then snap it into place and now what I need to do is plug my machine in with the USB cable. You cannot use the knife blade with your smartphone or tablet uh, because Bluetooth might not be strong enough for the entirety of your cut. Like I said before, the knife blade works a little bit differently and um, it will do multiple cuts to get down through the material so it will take a little bit longer than your standard cuts with your machine. So therefore, always use the USB on your desktop computer with the knife blade. 
if you try to do a knife blade cut on your smartphone or, or tablet it won't let you do it you need to be on the desktop and I highly recommend plugging that cable in so that you're not going to lose your Bluetooth connectivity halfway through and stop your cut. I'm just going to plug mine in. And now the final step for this project is it's also going to use the pen to draw onto our basswood. So I am going to pop the pen into the machine and all I need to do is open the accessory port push down the pen until the arrow disappears click it in and close that accessory port and then we're ready to go and when that C is flashing that's your go button I'm going to press that to go and then let's start cutting Okay, so it's finished drawing and now the knife blade is going to start doing its thing. What you'll find is your computer will do the first pass and it will work out how long that took and then work out how much longer you've got to go. So wait until the second pass for Design Space to tell you how long this project will take. Remember it will pass through each pass a few times. This project in particular will take about 14 passes to go round, uh, but always check it, pause your machine, so hit the pause button and check halfway through on its progress, then if it needs more passes start again. And remember at the end, if for any reason it hasn't cut through, uh, you can add more passes. Okay, my knife blade has finished cutting, so I'm going to take this out of the machine. <clears throat> and as you can see, we've drawn onto the wood with the pen, and then we've cut out our design here. So let's carefully remove it from the mat. Just remove all of your tape first. And then... oh. <laughs> And then you want to peel your mat away from your material. So peel this back, put that to the side. And you can see there, I've got my bookmark looking beautiful. Let's remove this from the mat. And there we have one beautiful bookmark. Uh, look how fabulous that is and what a lovely gift for somebody and you could always thread ribbon through those holes as well now just remember when you're working with the knife blade any of your lines have to be at least the thickness of a standard uh, pencil they can't be any thinner than that and any kind of small circles need to be at least the uh, rubber circumference of a pencil as well you can't get any smaller than that just because of the turning circle of the knife blade so just bear that in mind uh, but good luck making your fabulous knife blade projects